Hey guys, it's Bella, or as you may know me as, Bella Through Style, and today we're going to be learning some really cool binds that can help you get your unresponsive yo-yo back up. So since today I'm going to be teaching you guys some binds, I will be using an unresponsive yo-yo, the ones that don't come up to you with the tug that require a bind, look just like that. So I'm going to teach you guys some really cool ones that I like to use in some of my videos, and that are just like kind of really flashy and cool. You can add that to some of your combos or your godspeed, whatever you like. So yeah, so I'm using the uh, Adam Smasher by Yo-Yo Factory, and then the string I'm using is Evan McGow string or Edge string. And I'll put all of that in the link in the description box below as well, so you guys can get all of that there too. Okay, so these are the five binds I'm gonna be teaching today. This is number one. This one, I do this one a lot. And then there's also this one called the Ghost Bind. There's that one. And then there's also ones for front style, like this one, or the one I use a lot, this one. Okay, so bind number one. This one is probably, I'd say, like the easiest one out of the five, because it's like, it's rare that you miss it. So that's why I do it a lot at the end of my videos, because I've just spent a long time doing a combo and I don't want to miss it. First thing you want to do is throw a breakaway. And you want to, you can land on a trapeze or you can just let it uh, fall, whatever you want. But I usually do a trapeze and then I put my middle finger out like this and I roll off. And as it, the momentum comes like this, you want to hit this string with the yo-yo like this and let it go over your middle finger on your not your hand. So once you're there, so you're here, you go off, you go like this, and then you want to swing it to your throw hand side and let your hand just like this and let it go over your hand. So basically what, what it is, so you go here, you go in the other mouth and you want to kind of take these two fingers on your throw hand and you want to curl them in like this. So as if you're doing a chopstick like that way, but you only use these two fingers. So as you use those two fingers, you want to swing counterclockwise along and go over your hand and it should bind. And the next one is called Ghost Bind. It looks like this. So this one's really fun uh, because it like, how do I explain it? Like you would think that it would get in a knot because you're like re-wrapping the string like twice around the bearing, but it actually works out perfectly. So to do this one is you wanna throw a breakaway. You want to whip as if you're doing like a hook. Wow, that wasn't a hook. Whip as if you're doing a hook and you want to whip and as the yo-yo gets about right here, right there, that's when you want to take the string and you want to do a tight circle around the yo-yo. Okay, so you see how I did like a tight circle around the yo-yo to make the, the string like go really, really tight around the bearing? That's what you want. See that? Okay, so the next one for the breakaway throw is this one. So it's like you slap it into the bearing, which is really fun. Throw a breakaway. And you want to whip, like I said, for the other one, like if you're doing a hook. And as you whip, you want to miss the yo-yo. You don't want to like go into the gap like that because it's the wrong way to bind. So you want you don't want to go into the gap, but you want to go behind the yo-yo. So just like this. You want to do kind of like what we did with the ghost bind, where you, you don't go into the gap, but you're just kind of like you whip it like that, and the yo-yo is in front of your hand. That's what you want. So once you're here. You saw that, in, so I put that in slow motion. You can see that there was a loop, like a, like a, like this, this right here. This whole little piece was right in the middle, or right in the air like this. So what's gonna happen, the mechanics of it, is that you're gonna slap it and it's gonna bite like that. So up, and then you just wanna swipe it and you kinda wanna go like down a little bit, like that. Okay, so then the rest are front style ones, so that you can do this after any of your front style combos, 
or anything like if you do like a rejection or anything and you wanted to do like a bind like how I do sometimes where I do that was weird like if I do like this or something and I want to like go like that so that's or, or those are the next two that are the last two that we're going to be learning so the first one is this one so it's like the laceration bind so it's almost like the ghost bind but instead of having to wrap it around twice you just have to wrap it once so throw a front style throw to your side so that the yo-yo is hanging like this and you want to whip again like if you're doing a hook and you want to whip and you just want to line uh, like align the strings or the string with the yo-yo so that's the wrong way so what you want to do is as you whip as it's like this you want to go up and as it comes down, you see on that first time that I did it, it was off because the string, the, this string was not under the yo-yo like this, right? So because it wasn't like that, it didn't bind. So, so when, you, when it binds, you want the strings to be like this. And that's how it's gonna bind. So for front style, just like, just like you go like this, right? That's how you normally do a front style bind. So you're doing the same thing, but just with whip. Okay, and the final one is another slap one, but it's the opposite way. So you wanna throw a front style throw, um, and so we're gonna throw a front style, and instead of going clockwise like we have been doing this whole time with whips, you wanna go actually as if you're doing a negative hook. So take your hand like this up and kinda like, go up like this. So as if you were doing reverse front stool, that's a good analogy. So um, as if you're doing reverse front stool, how you go like this and you kind of like lift the string up, you want to do that. So as you do that, you want to whip and hit your arm like this. So just keep trying that, like make sure you have that down. It was like together in a line like this over my hand. So that's what you want because it's going to be like this and it's going to bind. So it's just like the the lasso one here, but instead of it hitting the yo-yo immediately, it's gonna hit your hand so that the hand can force it into the gap, if that makes sense. As you whip your hand, you want to line the string up with the gap of the yo-yo. That's the most important part with any of these binds is that you wanna make sure that the, the uh, string is lined up with the yo-yo and it will work 100% of the time. So just make sure that it's fully aligned like that. And here you guys go. So those are five of my favorite binds that I love to do. And I love to do them in a rejection combo. So I usually do like this. I do this one. I do ghost bind or reject it. And then, or I usually do my leg one, but um, yeah. So I, I love to do them in rejection combos. They're really fun to do. And they're just a like nice little pizzazz at the end of your combos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon next to get notified when I post. And again, all of the stuff for the yo-yo and all my materials, materials will be in the description box below so you, can, you guys can see all of it. And if you need a yo-yo, there will also be a link that's like get a yo-yo here where you can get all the yo-yos that I use in all my videos and in my YouTube videos. So uh, yeah, but I hope everyone had a great week and has a great week this week. But I'll see you guys next time. But in the meantime, keep freestyling. Peace.